Oh, how did that happen? Dead. <laughs> that last Jedi, last Jedi movie. Now, if they actually had that scene, but they go dead, and then you see him walk behind, look out behind the, like the Joseph, and go. That would have been a twist. You're like, what? <laughs> yeah, plot twist. It was a and then dummy. You see it just disappears. Like, what? Yeah, really. The last one sucked. And then they will be like, what? <laughs> and you'll be like, now. We'll see how good you really are. And you take out his lightsaber. How awesome would that be? That would be interesting. But they wouldn't make at least they wouldn't make the villain they you know, try to make all hyped up to be the big bad villain in Force Awakens. And, so and then they he he dies like a chump. Yeah. Now imagine if that was his false hologram. So they just go Wait. I still think the force hologram idea is stupid. Well, yeah, it was stupid. I'm just saying, with that concept, oh, well, then if Luke was able to do it so easily, well, then how about him? Mm hmm. It would be easier for Luke to just go to the planet with Ray in his own Starfighter that you could clearly see was parked underwater, but, you know, just a little bit offshore. You know, he could just lift it back up. No, he just had to lift it up and let it dry. Yep. Full slide. <laughs> but still, Luke Skywalker totally did not have to die at all. And plus the... I also... I also they had what Luke, what Luke Cyber did and all that and quote his background about what happened and all that when he was trying to phone the old jacket. That was out of Kelkdor. Yeah. That was out of Kelkdor. <laughs> and plus <laughs> Do you really think he would have that must have an epic Bell, if he had literally Yoda helping him, yeah, literally crying out loud. Exactly. I mean, if Yoda was there the whole time, even as the Force goes, how could he not? Teach these people properly. They have a freaking Grandmaster's ghost. Yeah, the the Grand of the Grandmasters. Yeah. The best Jedi that everybody ever knew in Star Wars. Yep. And even in that, they just had yoga. <laughs> It's about time that a new, that the new way of the Jedi is born. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. No, you know, really think about it. What? And even more, I still have no idea how in the world those Jedi ancient books ended up in the hands of what's his face? Ray. Yeah. How did Ray get a hold of those books when you saw them get blown up from the tree? Well, we supposedly blown up. Supposedly. We never had. had yeah, but they never we showed. We never had them. would go inside to see if the books were still there. Yeah, but you also did see him, Ray, actually go get the books either. Yeah, it's like what? And she never saw the books. How did she even know the books was there? Last Jedi has too many plot holes. 
I thought Force Awakens had a bunch of plot holes, but man, that makes it look, you know, the Force Awakens, um, yeah, see, they, did, they didn't want any men to be the new Jedi Master, so they're going to have the new, the new hero that does Jedi stuff with zero training whatsoever, the quote training that Luke did was what you not training at all. It's like three exercises. One session. And I would just say meditation session. And then that was it. And now somehow she's able to tap into the false easily. Like a grand master. That's not how the force works. You don't just automatically be super powerful oh, in force. That, I oh, mean, you can have some a knack for it, but you still have to train literally hard and actually put effort into it to, you know, get better and refine oh, it. You don't just start levitating whole moving mountains just after, like, meditating once. At all, totally do what... Princess Leia did while having zero training whatsoever about the Force. Mm-hmm. Going, oh, oh, I'm alive. Oh, look at that. Woo, now I can breathe. Oh, I'm going to go I'm gonna go over there now. Yeah, that was stupid. Leia pulled a Superman. Yeah. The only Superman can do that, and she's not Superman. And quite frankly, you get the... How the force is does push and pull does not levitation in a way, you know? It's like what? Wait, what? As he has Zotwin whatsoever. As he just do it all the fly like she knew how to do it. And also she's like, oh I Hell it! With no training whatsoever. Plus. No knowledge of the force either. Just the concept of in episode six. Leia, you're my sister. I know. And then now all of a sudden she can use the force. Oh, okay. Better than Luke. Like Luke can't even use the force without having a heart attack or something. And died. And died. Luke freaking died in the end of episode 8. And I thought I was stupid. But how in the world did Luke die? And yet, Leia didn't. And yet, the actor of Leia died. But yet, the actor of Luke didn't. And, and it's not like they can really redo the whole movie since... Um, Princess Leia's actress, what was her name, Carrie Fisher, I, last I heard from their interviews like a year or two ago, they, their, her estate wouldn't allow them to digitally recreate her again after she died, so they couldn't reshoot any of the scenes. Um, and so they just decided to change the script a little bit for the following movie. For, I guess, episode 9. I heard a, I heard a rumor that the episode 9 was supposed to have her in it. Yeah, but there's a problem with that. She's supposed to be dead, and quote, they're supposed to change the script, but yet she still was alive at the end of The Last Jedi. Yeah. How is it? How is she supposed to be in the know? Are they just gonna go nice little self clip of somehow? Oh, she blew up, and this time she wasn't able to use the force and have the explosion go around. Ooh. Made her look like a floating witch in space. Yeah. Which is creepy, not cool. And it's like really that. She like the witch mother in. 
stole the phone. Oh, that crazy person. That crazy character in the... What was Uses it? The, the Night Sisters? Yep, in the Night Sisters. Oh, yeah. The mother. Night Sister mother. Mother Talzin, that's what her name was. Yeah, that was her name. Yeah. They should have finished... They should, Disney should have let them finish Star Wars. The Clone Wars. That was... Okay, there was, a, there was a few not really good parts. Overall, it was okay, not like the new films. New films are just loaded with SJW moments now. I hate it. It's not even cool to watch them all whine. Like, like especially when Holdo, the purple-haired lady, just comes out of nowhere and Say, like, oh, well, Leia's incapacitated, so this lady you've never heard of just suddenly takes command. She is second in command, so now she gets to be in charge. Like, how the heck did she get second in command in the first place? And hey, how do you... Like, who is she? She looks like a liberal. <laughs> she has purple hair and everything, and that same smug attitude. Yeah. That some fem she looks like a typical feminist. <laughs> SJW bulls. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. It, it's just stupid how that the whole movie was flo flooded with plot holes in Star Wars Episode 8, Last Jedi. That Last Jedi should have been totally different. And I also remember watching interviews with um, Mark Hamill. And, and read about he, he was totally he, different than I thought what it would have been. Yeah, and Mark Hamill in an interview said he fundamentally disagreed with the director's direction for his character on everything. So Mark Hamill didn't even like it. Yeah, it's not Luke. Luke does not go, oh no, you're going to be on the dark side. Slay, kill you. Wait, seriously? That's not Luke's character. His father was on the dark side and he tried to save him. He didn't try to kill his father. And at the end, it wasn't him who killed his father. So, why in the world would he evidently save his father and when he's training in a new batch of Jedi's, oh, some kid is going a little bit on the dark side and you take out a light side to try to kill him. Is it out of character for Luke? You think he just asked if there's something going on with Ben? Yeah. You know. So he don't become Kylo Ren. All he had to do was talk to him. Oh, Misty, you're so cute. Misty, Misty. It's a Misty. There's a Misty. It's a cutie. She's so cute, cuddly. I just want to afford to and kiss you all day long. <laughs> One more kiss. One more kiss. Meow. <laughs> How about you go play now? <coughs> Oop. I love you, Misty. You wanna go play now? No, 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 no. I'll help you up. I don't need you sending your claws out everywhere. Ah. Okay. Ah. Now that you're up. No, no, stop. Stop making noise. Stop making noise. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, come on. Stop for five seconds. She never stops. Mm. <laughs> You're so silly. Go play. <sighs> <sighs> Crazy Star Wars movies. I hate it with this. <clears throat> you you see the political liberal the liberal political leftist overtones were too obvious. And it wasn't like, and just, it wasn't like, 
You enjoyed it so much and you had no idea why I didn't like it. There was points where you're like, what? Plus it's like both sides just fail at basic tactics and strategy. Yeah. Like, oh, well, we'll just stay here firing our big guns on this big vessel that have some sort of seals that Star Wars generally did not have. They generally don't have that type of seals. I don't know. Is they that... generally have a, what's called, deflector seals. Not an actual seal bubble like Star Trek. <laughs> I just thought I'd notice that too. Plus, <clears throat> there's a whole lot of, um, Problems with the way that that um at the end of the movie they just suddenly send the whole capital ship at faster than light speeds sh crashing straight through the other the first order's capital ship. If they could do that and weaponize FTL, then they could do that with their missiles. What's to stop them from doing that? You know, there's no creativity on either side. You know, if, if they can weaponize FTL, then that opens up a whole lot of possibilities. Mm -hmm. So, that was kind of awesome, but also... I mean, even... Most of it was destroyed just like that. Like, they didn't kill at all. I mean, Star Trek Voyager, they had a... They had a, um, a missile... <laughs> uh, autonomous a weapon of mass destruction thing that actually could fly at warp speed. You think they'd have something similar in Star Wars, but no. They just crash an expensive starship into another one. Because it's supposed to look epic. Yeah. And awesome. <coughs> Instead it just makes everyone. Because you look... didn't need to die in that either. No, they just made everyone look incompetent. <coughs> and if they had to, if they were able to do that in the first place, they should have done it. Exactly. And she would be able to do anything faster if she actually told everybody what her whole plan was. So there would have been no mutiny. Yeah. Everything was just outright stupid. And they offered no. Just right in episode 7, they, did this, they decided to destroy the home planet of Coulson. Just with that. Oh, we're going to defeat the Republic, the New Republic. So, hey, I got an idea. Let's destroy Coruscant, the capital of the galaxy. Hey, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Bang. Destroy. Oh, the, go the New Republic is dead. It's just so... Stupid. Plus, and honestly, we, that type of doomsday weapon, where do we find far distance, split into tons of different fragments, and where do we go in light years, light years in just a matter of seconds? Because, think of it. Picture of the galaxy. That doomsday planet was in the outer limb. Yeah. The outskirts of the galaxy, Coruscant and the core world is actually close to the center of the galaxy. Because it can't be in, in the exact center, but you know it's in the close to the center of the galaxy. So they literally had that weapon fly all those right ears and split up all those paws, so spoke up even further apart in light years, destroy all those planets. They keep blowing up planets like this with stupid super weapons to run out of habitable worlds. Yeah. Besides, isn't it bad enough that they had a whole Death Star in the first place? And then they built another one, and that got destroyed again? So then they built a mega one? That's literally a flying planet? That got destroyed the same way? The same flaw. Same flaw. It went from a small moon, but it's actually a space station, to a bigger moon, but it's actually a space station, 
to it's an actual planet with the he's a super weapon. Uh, the same way. And then it gets destroyed the same way. Only this time, because it, it absorbed the sun, it it uh, the sun ate itself from the inside out. Without turning to a black hole, the planet just ate, got consumed by the sun energy. It ate. Consumed. <laughs> it's like, you, you're kidding me, right? You, you think it would do something more drastic than that. It's like, ooh, it sucked up the entire sun to, to fuel it. Uh, one thing, how is soaking up a star fuel as energy? Having solar panels, so yeah, but no, they really sucked up the salt, the sun's fire they to fuel it. It ate an entire star. Yeah. And it just consumed it. You have any idea how big a star is? It goes into a planet, and it just ate the entire thing like it was nothing. Yeah, and another thing, if it could do that, then how, how is it after it consumed it, a star that's somehow supposedly bigger than this planet, or at least you'd think it would be, how did the planet not gain so much mass that it didn't collapse in itself? And at the same time, when it, it exploded the, because there was too much mass in the center. Yeah. So many falls, you just, you could really just pick it apart. Hey, you two. <coughs> what you uh, doing, kitty cat? Hiss, 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 hiss. Yeah. Well, I have to go to bed. Okay. But yes, the stupidity of the new Star Wars. Unbelievable how ridiculous it is. At least George Lucas's films made more sense. And they can stand on their own merit. They don't need comic books and other stuff to support it. Like I actually, as if I actually wanted to buy more Disney material just to explain a movie that didn't have the right stuff to stand up on its own. In the first place. Why should I spend more money to, to explain a movie that sucked <laughs> from the get-go? I don't want to spend more money on stuff I don't like. It was terrible. And real Star Wars people would know that it was terrible. I still think it sinks. I, th I thought that Star Wars Episode Eight made the prequels look like masterpieces. And although a lot of people complain about the prequels, I think in retrospect, compared to... I love the prequels. Yeah, the prequels... It was extremely well developed. At least it had a ser had storyline and plot to it. That was I mean, actually worth watching. It wasn't like... Oh, uh, well, we're going to have, you know, uh, the slowest starship chase in the world. In the galaxy. In the galaxy. And it's going to take yeah, we'll the two slowest. and a half hours. Yeah, we'll be the slowest when they can really go to hyper, hyper warp and go from one corner of the galaxy to another corner of the galaxy in just a few minutes. You know, plus, what are they doing being so underfueled in the first place? Yeah, for real. You don't think they just go battle first order without seeing supplies? <laughs> I mean, you'd think they'd be ready. But no, it's just... I don't know where they're just gonna... Fly along and complain. I think how how it should have ended actually did point out a lot of flaws for the movies.
I mean, seriously, what, what, why would they hesitate not to shoot Poe out of the sky? Or why do they have these slow, oversized bombers that just one hit to them blows them up and then yeah, blows where every where other the one y, up? Where did the Y bombers go? I don't know. Where did the Y bombers go? Those were the bombers. Hmm? Not those stupid things that didn't have actual bomb. Actual bomb bombs. It had grenades. <laughs> Thousands of grenades. Yeah. Plus, why is it bottomless and you can literally reach your hand below the ship into space? That is. No, that's only when they open the door. It doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense because. It did not show that it had any force field. No, it didn't. Hey, I'm trying to sleep here. Turn that off. Oh, just adjusting the little light switches. And how about you turn off your phone, too? Okay, fine. Bye. Because. <sighs> It's not like they didn't have false seals. You know they kind of did. But yet, not like Star Trek. No, and Star Wars could have been a lot better. It's like, I just wonder if they just rushed a script out to, to try and make money or something and they just didn't really think through the plot or how it actually would. Everybody that just wants. This movie just because I would think that these films was awesome and perfect. No, it's just full of, it was loaded with more special effects than substance uh, story. Yeah. The slow chasing and the ridiculous situation of Oh, well, we gotta go to this plan to get a master hacker so we could get onto the other one while being detected so we could deactivate the da 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 and da 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 and blah 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 blah. It was like, where are we going to the. Go to what planet again? <laughs> I think it was like in that moment when they go to the planet of rich people. At the casino planet, whatever, and they just. That scene. It's like that's a whole. That, that scene did not need to even be though. No, it didn't. It was like that. That was just there for them to put anti capitalist messages in the movie. Basically, socialists and blah and blah. And make it seem like, oh, the one. The waiting against the clock. Santa. Santa, I have no. Fuel. Yeah, and well, if they just explained the plan in the first place, they should have just gotten into the transport sooner. Then, since those would have had enough fuel, they could have just FTL'd it at the nearest base. They just had to go faster and light, and they go shoes. Because, quote unquote, the leech, the the first order couldn't track the tiny, the smaller ships or the transports, and. Don't give me this idea that, oh, well, the Y-Wings are, like, 50 years old by the time those, the, uh, Force Awakens or, um, The Last Jedi happens to happen. Takes, I mean, takes place. It's like, yeah, but you'd think they'd find someone who could make a new model of it. You know, they could make a, get a contract. Right. That's, not the, that's not the thing. You can't say the Y wings are outdated because if the Y wings are outdated, why did they still use the X wings? Those will also would have been outdated. Mm -hmm. Why did they use the X wings and the Y wings is clear outdated? Yeah, and another thing, if they, yeah. they sh those Y wings should be still in production or some newest model somewhere. You know, it ain't hard to make one. You'd, you'd think it wouldn't be. I mean, sure, the White Wings were around during the Clone Wars, and then... And I just, I mean, I just think it was just outright stupid 
that they were still called the Rebellion. When quote, when quote, the Republic was reformed. <laughs> See, he's scratching the box. You know what I mean, Mark? Yeah. Why are they still called the Rebellion if the Republic was all worse this reform? There's no need of a rebellion anymore. The rebellion passed. The rebellion was against the Empire. And if the Republic is back, then the Empire was no more. So why is there still a rebellion? <sighs> Plot hole. Yep. <sighs> Good night. Yeah, we gotta go to bed. Good night. It's stupid. Yep.